So I'm just going to show you how I mix the color. I ended up using two boxes of color and it doesn't require any developer because it's only a semi-permanent color but it's super duper thick in consistency so you might want to take that in mind whenever you're um, buying your color. You can actually mix it up with conditioner which I ended up doing and you get the same results. So I'm not doing any kind of special technique or anything like that because I'm just applying it to the very ends of the hair. Whatever's blonde, that's what I put the color on. As you can see, it's extremely thick and hard to saturate the hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and comb the color through and make sure that it's an even application. So here's the part where I mix in the conditioner with the color. It's actually going to create more product to work with and it's going to be a lot easier to saturate the hair. So when I'm done applying the color, I just clip the hair up and allow it to sit for an hour. So when an hour's passed, I just go ahead and co-wash the hair in cold water and I towel dry it. So you can see how beautiful the color is while it's wet, but whenever it's dry, it actually looks completely different. So before drying it, I just go ahead and apply a light setting mousse to the hair and I comb and part it exactly how I want it to fall when it's dry. And then after that, I let it air dry overnight. So to style, I'm just going to use a curling wand to add some loose waves and to create a nice texture to really show off the color. And I'm sure y'all already know how to do this already, so I'm not going to bore y'all with details. So. And here I'm just using the curling wand to really flatten out the part and the front area to make it look more realistic and less bulky. And I think that I would like it a little thicker. So this is 130% just to let you know. Um, this is 20 inches and it reaches me.